There's seating up at the front, if you like. There's a table or a couple of tables and a few seats. Anybody like to come to the front? We're going to start in a moment. A few seats in the popcorn rows up here. Just like church. <laughs> Ninety-eight years ago, this past July, one of the bloodiest battles of World War I, the Great War, the war to end all wars, took place in Belgium, near the village of Ypres, the Battle of Passchendaele, also known as the Third Battle of Ypres. There were about 275,000 casualties overall to the armies under British command at Passchendaele. The Germans suffered just under 400,000 killed and wounded. At the end, the point of it all was unclear. In 1918, all the ground gained there by the Allies was evacuated in the face of a looming German attack. A century later, the Battle of Passchendaele is remembered as a symbol of the worst horrors of the First World War. The sheer futility of much of the fighting and the reckless disregard by some of the war's senior leaders for the, for the lives of the men under their command seems senseless at times. Today is Remembrance Day. A time to remember all the conflicts fought by Canadians from the Boer War to Afghanistan. So today, our pipe band remembers this, tor this terrible horror in a musical tribute to the Battle of Passchendaele. After the singers and the solo, solo piper, our whole band will enter and play. And we would welcome you all to join in as the words will appear on the screen and on the song sheets at your table. Sing loudly so that our Passchendaele heroes will hear us.
Thank uh-huh. you. 